Nancy with the Hospice Care Plan and Odonatic Care. We are talking about the roles of people, professionals on the hospice team. And actually, we do have another group of people who are vital to the hospice team. They're not always considered professionals, and yet they have been trained very carefully in end-of-life care. And that's our hospice volunteers. Volunteers are people who come out of the community. They come with some experience, perhaps, with end-of-life care with a loved one or a friend. They come with compassion, and they want to help people not be alone at this time in their life. They volunteer for many different reasons, and we're so, so lucky to have them. They provide care that the rest of the hospice team is unable to uh, spend time on oftentimes, and that can be to sit with a patient so a family member can take a nap, go take a walk. They're able to go do their errands that they're not able to do if uh, leaving a loved one by themselves. So we are really Im so indebted to our volunteers. I've had some that have even cleaned out garages, mowed the lawn, etc. We in hospice are required to provide some of our care through the use of hospice volunteers. And so again, we do have someone on our team who is responsible, our volunteer coordinator, to train these people so that they understand how to approach people, what kind of tasks are they allowed to provide, and uh, that volunteer coordinator will set up connection between a person who has needs and a person who wants to give that particular type of care. We are indebted to the volunteers who come out of the com uh, our community to help with the care that we provide. Please join us at Care Plan, buy our booklet, and see lots more videos at our YouTube site. Thank you.